Hey, Mark Nelson here, and I have a very special show for you today. I have a special guest, Rachel Van Komen Miner, and she what she talks about is just stinking unbelievable. You're going to love her story, and you're going to love what she's doing right now. So without any further ado, let's head into this interview. So how long have you been in business? So... I am one of those people that I have been an entrepreneur my entire life. So awesome. I, um, I've, I've kind of done different things over the years, but it's always service to people. I, as a teenager, actually as a young girl, I learned to sew. And my mom took me to this sewing instructor that made sewing so fun. And she's like, whatever you want to make it's your way and if and if it's a wrinkled crooked hem and that's what you want it that's you can have it that way and so she taught me just to be creative and to to just explore fun things and so i could bring her a picture and she's like okay let's figure out how to make a pattern let's figure out how to make it let's figure out how to how to do it and so i'd always just bring these challenging things of like i want to make this i want to make this and so um by the time i was I think 12, I started sewing for other people as a business oh, and wow. I would sew uh, clothes. So like I had a neighbor and he's like, I want you to make a dress for my wife, you know, and I'd make the dress for his wife and stuff. And then by the age of 16, I started teaching at like fabric stores and, and they had like their sewing classes on the weekends. And so I'd do, be doing that. I got into a lot of teaching 4-H and, um, classes for sewing for 4-H. And then by the time I was a senior in high school, I was actually teaching on some college campuses and I was doing more like fiber art and stuff like that, where it's more like decorative and you manipulate the fabrics to dye them and, and bleach them and things like that. And, and, uh, and I started teaching the classes on the campuses that the home ec teachers in like the junior highs would take to like, count as their like certification or their extra education credits and things like that. So, um, so I did that in high school and then in high school, I also went to uh, beauty school at night. And so by the time I graduated high school, I also had a cosmetology license. My goodness gracious. Yeah. And then I moved away to college and I went to college out in Hawaii and I kept kept the skills going. In college, I actually sewed wedding dresses for friends that were getting married and um, bridesmaids dresses and things like that in college. And so I got my degree in business management, graduated um, four years later, and then I actually um, moved back to Utah where I opened a gift shop home decor shop and a salon. And so I had a salon. It was a, it was a big building and I had two back to back stores and one side was a salon and it was a full service salon. And then the other side was like a gift shop and it was home decor gifts and accessories. And my, my dad was a home builder. And so we would, um, decorate his parade of homes every year him and my mom like me and my mom would partner up and we did all the decorating of the parade of homes and so we ran this gift shop that what we did is we completely decorate the parade of homes and then after the parade of homes is over we'd put everything in the gift shop and sell it all off so the furniture the decor the oh my pillows all those kinds of things <clears throat> and then we'd go out to shows and buy more stuff and like start all, all over again and we also had like collectibles and cards and all those fun kind of gift shops. And we decided that we wanted our gift shop to be um, one of those gift shops that everything was one of a kind because we were at a destination location. We were in like a high traffic area. People had to come to us. So we wanted it to be that when people came and they saw something, it was, you better buy it now because we don't stock 35 of them, you know? And that's how we like um, stayed in business. And I knew that like, uh, stores are very seasonal, you know, like gift shops, like you have the holidays and then it goes down, you know, like, so Christmas and then you have Valentine's and then it goes down, then you have Mother's Day and it goes down. And we knew that it would be very seasonal and, um, and we wanted to keep it afloat. And so I actually used the salon 
as income to kind of help float the gift shop in slower times. So they were both under the same business name. And a few years later, we actually decided to expand the salon. So we blew out the wall in between the two, expanded the salon into like all of our storage for a gift shop. And we turned it into a salon that the gift shop was like the reception area. So they could shop for gifts while they were waiting, you know, for to get their hair done and stuff. And I had that for eight years and I just absolutely just loved it. And I oh. loved the salon side. I always wanted it to have like a mom and pop feeling mm -hmm. my favorite movie growing up was still magnolias i don't know if you ever saw that and they, yeah. they you know they all do the hair and they all chat and stuff like that yeah. and that's kind of how i ran it like i didn't typical salons you booth rent everybody fights for their clientele women are kind of you know against each other anyway you know a lot and so i wanted it to just be this great fun place where everyone could come and they could just sit and they could visit and and my mom um would, she's not in hair. She doesn't do hair. She's never been a hairdresser. She's an author. She would come in and just visit with people and, and talk story with them and stuff like that. And so they could like go away going, Oh my goodness. Like, I feel so good. I got my hair done and my therapy, you know, for, you know, kind of a thing. And so I loved that. Um, and I opened that salon when I was 21 and by the time I was 23, I started having kids. So after about eight years, I decided it was um, time to sell it and spend some time with my kids. Sure. And my husband, who had been in the corporate world back 9-11, uh, he lost his job and he opened a dry cleaning pickup and delivery service. Okay. And that was in the middle of me owning the salon. And then he also acquired three dry cleaning locations along the way. Oh, okay. And he, his, he went from like Ogden to Alpine, which is like about a hundred mile radius. And each day he would do different areas and he would go to their homes and pick it up and drop it off two days later and stuff like that. So at the same time I had my salon, he, we also owned these dry cleaners. And so I helped run the dry cleaners as well. And so about the time that I decided, okay, it's time to raise the family. He was like, yeah, it's kind of time for a change. You know, we always joked. He's like, nobody, nobody wakes up and grows up going, I want to be a dry cleaner, you know, like, you know, but, but it fell into our lap, you know, and, and it's how, when he was unemployed, he could make a living. And, um, and so he did that and we ended up selling everything and then we ended up moving to Colorado and um, I stayed there for about 10 years raising my kids there. And while I was there, I continued to do hair okay. and, um, and then we moved back to Utah and it's been about four years. And during that time in Colorado, I, my, I had lots of health issues and my whole life I've had, um, allergies really bad. I've had depression really bad. Um, and it was like chronic depression that like, I had a great life, like great husband, great kids, great family. But I just had that like dark cloud that like followed through me and I right. could never figure it out how to like get rid of this depression. And, um, and I grew up going to all the natural doctors and the homeopathic doctors and the chiropractors and all those things to try to help my body with my allergies, did allergy shots, both arms twice a week, you know? Oh. And so in Colorado, when my health started going down, I started just doing a lot more research and um, research on health, research on uh, natural ways to heal the body. And in the process, my health just kept going down. Like I chronic fatigue that some days I just couldn't get out of bed, which then as a mom, you feel worse because your kids got themselves off to school, you know, and things like that. And so I'm like, there's gotta be an answer. And yeah. I struggled with my weight a little bit too. So when we moved back to Utah, I went into the doctor. I'm like, there's something wrong with me. Like there's something going on. And, and I had a scare with cancer and we thought for a bit that there were the, we had some cancer. And so I started doing more research and through all this research, I realized that, um, gut health links to everything and the gut health, my gut health had linked to my allergies that I had suffered with my entire life, 
they had linked to the fatigue, they had linked to the mental issues with the depression and and I developed severe anxiety as well. And so I started doing more and more research on gut health. And that's when I realized, oh my gosh, people need to like know this information. Mm -hmm. And I found a way to heal my body from the inside out. And I had gone back on like allergy shots and all this stuff and it had developed into asthma and I had an asthma cough that I like lived with year round. And so through healing my body, like I was able to eliminate my allergies and eliminate all the asthma medicine. I didn't have to have shots and carry EpiPens and live on Benadryl and, and my dark cloud was able to go away for the first time in my life. And I started having energy and waking up early in the morning and, and just feeling good. And I felt like I had my life back. Like, mm -hmm. like I wasn't, you know, a lot of moms like zombie through life is the way I, you know, they wake up and they do everything just to be the mom because you have to continue being the mom and you don't get a break and, and doing everything you can. And then at night you're just exhausted, but you don't want to go to bed because you don't want the next day to come because it's, you know, and you just, you lose the enjoyment of life, you know, and being a mom and all those kinds of things. And so as I started getting this back and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I have energy and I want to play with my kids at the playground instead of just sitting on a bench and watching them and, and all those kinds of things. I'm like, other people need to know this. Other people, like I was one of those silent sufferers. I didn't tell people what I dealt with. Like they all thought I was this great person, but behind closed doors, I was a mess, you know? Sure. And so that's, I got into gut health research. I got into gut health education and I, that's what I do now full time is I educate people in gut health. I'm a health coach. Um, I wrote a book It's called gut health secrets. And I look at it as kind of a, like the gut health for dummies or the gut health 101, like all of the secrets about gut health that I wish I had known years ago that if I had known it, all those things and how that was the missing piece to the puzzle in all of my health issues, you know, like I had been on candida cleanses, sugar cleanses, liver cleanses, all these things, but I'm like, they all related back to my gut health. And when I healed my gut, your body actually functions the way that God meant it to function. And so I still do hair on the side. I have just a few people that, you know, I I love doing hair. And so I just keep a few people on the side, but gut, gut health is now my passion. And so I love to just educate people. I love to help them find things that like will help heal their bodies. I love to um, help them know that like their kids issues can relate back to their gut health with their kids. And the, the microbiome in your body is kind of like your gut DNA yeah. and different from your body DNA, which you're born with and you can't change, you're born with your microbiome DNA and you can change that and you can alter things. So even if you have things that maybe your grandma and your mom and everybody had, you can change those things and you can move forward with health and then pass on a better microbiome DNA to your own children. And and so now that's, that's my passion. Like I, I do business with gut health on the side and, and, um, and look forward to even writing more books about it and educating people. And so, so well, that's like, like I've always been entrepreneur, but it's kind of like morphed into different things over the years. <laughs> now this one's becoming a passion. I want, yeah. I want to tell you this when we, my, my daughter's 35, when she was 11, uh -huh. she had uh, contacted ulcerous colitis. Ah, yeah. Having her large intestine taken out. Oh, wow. We wow. Had no, we had no idea what was going on. We were just listening to doctors. And uh, now she's a chiropractor, but she does a little different chiropractic, but she talks to people about gut health. Oh, that is awesome. And That's really her, amazing. Talks to her dad all the time. Dad, <laughs> <laughs> quit eating that. But it's amazing because she cured her. Not, uh, when she, she played college basketball and she was on uh, cancer drugs and Remicade and all this stuff to keep her going. And then when she got out and then she weaned herself off at all just by changing her diet and what she was doing. And so when I actually, when we reached out, I went to your site and saw your book. I went on stinking believable. Because <laughs> what you're doing is amazing. It, it, it's, it's not taught. Oh no, it's not. I mean, what we, the most we learn in school is what the food pyramid calories in calories out, like, like that's all you learn. So it's, it's, 
most people I'm like, it's not your fault. You didn't know because nobody teaches it. Yeah. All I do in school is buy sugary snacks for a dollar fifty. Yeah. I <laughs> know how to do that really well. Well, that is really cool. So you should write a book. You, know, you, yeah. should, you, should, you should go on a speaking uh, tour and, and do something like this because it's really needed. Really yeah. Is. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, and and I'm really strong in the mental health field as well of like how if people fix their gut, a lot of those mental health issues would like improve drastically instead of just medication on medication on medication that then give you more side effects, and more side effects, and more side effects. So, so I'm really passionate about the mental health. Cause I'm like, I was somebody that had severe depression and, and thank you. I had guardian angels that helped me through it, you know? Sure. And so, so yeah, like I do feel like that's, it's kind of like it's my calling now. Like I've got to help educate people in it. Well, that's exciting. Where do people get your free book? So you can go to healandbehealthy.com or you can go to guthealthbook.com and, um, and you can get the book there. It is on Amazon, but I do a free book where you just pay for shipping if you go to guthealthbook.com. And so you can, you can just pay a little shipping and, and uh, get a free book set to you. I think that's exciting. I'm going to go get it. I really am. <laughs> It's, very, it's very needed. That's a, so the, the, now let me, the, the first website you gave me, is that the same book? So, uh-huh. Healingmehealthy.com is just kind of the website about me and about what I do. And, okay. and um, so I have a link to the book on that website as well. Okay. That is awesome. Do you have anything else in the plans in the future of making courses, being a speaker, doing Yes, I have a health coaching business and, um, and I do want to get back on stages. Years ago, I actually was on stages through um, when I did hair and I was an educator for companies and I would travel around and I wrote a book on um, years ago on the business side of cosmetology. And so I went around and spoke and went into beauty schools and all those things. And I loved it so much. And I was just getting ready to start doing that again when all this COVID stuff hit, right. you know? And so now it's kind of on hold. And that's why I love these interviews because I feel like this is my virtual way to like get on stages and talk to people is, is, uh, is the virtual way. And you never know it, this might stay around for quite a bit longer. So it's my virtual way to like get out and, and reach people and, and through my coaching business, I can do where I help people figure out the products that work best for them, or I can coach with them, or they can get group coaching, or they can get private coaching, um, whatever is tailored to their best needs. Um, but yes, I am working on courses. Uh, I want to put some on Udemy, which is a great site for like lots of education courses so that they don't necessarily have to... Um, come to me, they can go there and get some education and sell some courses through my website as well. So I'm working on some gut health courses right now that will be launching soon. So I'm well, excited about that's, that. That's what we're all doing, right? We're <laughs> launching, launching, launching. I yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. You know, what you do is, is very needed. So thank you very much. because You I, are welcome. I very welcome. We all need to go out and serve people and you're doing that. So before we go, what are those websites again? So... Uh, healandbehealthy.com. Okay. Uh, you can find me at Hill and Be Healthy on Instagram. Okay. And, uh, and then guthealthbook.com as well. Cool. cool. Well, Rachel, thank you tons. I love talking to you. You are a rock star. You need to be on stage. And yeah. I know I'll see you there. I know I'll see you there. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, Mark, thank you so much. And this has been wonderful. You're welcome. We will talk again soon. See you later. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Wasn't that an amazing interview with Rachel? She is going to help so many people. So head over to her sites. The first one is healandbehealthy.com or guthealthbook.com and grab that free book because gut health is so important to everybody. Thank you for being on the show and I'd love it if you go over and give me a review. You all take care. We'll talk to you again soon.